Photo media. Photo media. Coming to you live from Germany. From Germany. From Germany. Hi. Yes, welcome to a, a, a quick look at one of the features on the PodTrack P8. We're going to look at how to transfer files and how it all works. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to go off air. You'll be pleased to know. But as you as you go through one of the processes, it turns off the P8 to allow you the, to do the transfer. But I'll add a voiceover effect so you can understand what's going on. Okay, without further ado, let's have a look at the... Um, the screen and what we need to actually do to import and what we're talking about here is importing sounds effects jingles and how quickly and easily you can do that he says let's do this anyway okay first I'm going to stop my theme music for a second uh, I'm going to go to at the top here you've got a little symbol that says SD for SD card. I'm going to press on that. And as you can see, you've got various options there. We're going to choose transfer. And transfer then will open up a, a screen on your computer, which is the SD card contents, basically. So let's have a quick look at what happens. Okay, so this is the SD card contents at the moment. I'm going to just open another file. Bear with me. Go to art list, sound effects, and I've got one here which I've converted to 44.1, which I will now copy and paste directly to my SD card folder or the SD card file. Um, I'm pasting it at base level, and that is it. We're now going to close that and return to the P8. I'll see you there. We've got any thing moving at the moment there we go <laughs> panic yeah it will cause a few problems because you're actually disconnecting all my sources at one time to the actual show so we've we've cross decked a file which is called 44.1 gunshot now what i'm going to do is at the bottom here you have your pads click on the pads and i'm on i'm on the fourth bank of the four banks so, and I've got an empty file slot here. Let me just turn my microphone up a little bit while I'm turning sideways. Click on any of the empty ones or even the full ones if you want to change them. And here's your settings. So first of all, I want to, I want to choose the file. So let's choose the file. Let's see how it sounds directly with a one shot and how loud it is. <laughs> that it? Yeah, okay. Bit loud, so what I'm gonna do, you can do volume adjustments here, so let's drop it right down and see how loud that is without changing the volume on the slider. bit more bearable but yeah you can mess around basically with the volume there underneath you've got the four options one shot excuse the pun because it's a gunshot file one shot means it will play the sound effect completely once and then turn itself off pause allows you halfway through so if we change that to pause and we play it But if I press the button again, as you can see, it flashes and I've paused, I've paused that sound effect. If you wanted it con to continue, just tap it again. Pause it. However, if you've finished with it, so you've done a quick pause, but you want to go onto something else, you just hold your finger on it and for three seconds, it then goes a solid color and that means it's finished. It's ready to, is reset basically. Loop. Uh, speaks for itself really it, it will continually play all right until you press the button again that's quite useful for things like round of applause the old studio canned laughter as well is quite good for that 
and the last one then hold is quite simply uh, I have to hold my finger on it for it to play if I let go it will stop and as you can see I let go it stops so there's your options uh, I'll probably leave that actually on hold to be honest and that is how quick and easily you can cross deck files for sound effects. All right, catch you in a bit for the next one.